My name is Grant Hasley. I'm the executive director, founder of Wagyu Games, makers of Undead Blocks. We have been working on Undead Blocks for the last 14 months. We actually started up in uh, late June, early July of 2021. We raised 1.7 million in a seed round uh, led by Animoca Brands and just happy to be here and happy to answer your guys' questions. Give me an elevator pitch. We're in an elevator together. Break it down. What is Undead Blocks? You have 30 seconds. Kill zombies, earn crypto. You'll be able to collect weapon and skin NFTs. Weapon NFTs are a VIP pass to daily earning, which is a proportion of revenue that we generate through our skins ecosystem. You'll be able to trade weapon skins freely with Immutable X, and uh, you'll be able to collect different uh, achievements, challenges, quests, character skins, weapon skins, and be able to compete in an esports setting. 30 seconds done. <laughs> hey, Grant, man, I like your background a lot because it looks like you come from banking. And uh, so you have this you have this approach of when it comes to the economy. So I'm curious of your thoughts. I guess give us your background. Let's hear that first and then your thoughts of how you're applying that here on the blockchain. So so I am definitely not your traditional game developer. I was in the pinnacle of high finance. If you looked at me and you looked at my profile, you'd say, wow, this guy's really happy. You know, he has a corner office. I was working at MT Bank. I was basically a director in the FP&A division. Before that, I was at Goldman Sachs for three years. I was securities lending analyst, and I hated it. I hated pretty much every single minute of what I did. I went to school for math, and while I enjoyed math, and that's how I really got into cryptography, I saw what was going on with Axie Infinity, some of the other player games, Thetan Arena is another one that I actually enjoyed playing, believe it or not. And I figured that I could build a more stable and secure tokenomics model of, in what I like to brand as healthy capitalism, right? You generate revenue and then you use a portion of it to compensate your players for the sweat equity they put in your title. But from our perspective, that's why we're leaning into FPS because we want this game to be fun, challenging, engaging. Look, we know we can't create an open world game like Fortnite where they have uh, 250 developers and a $100 million development budget. Where we can win is through a zombie shooter, eventually pivoting into mobile zombie shooter as and then bridging to like a pvp where uh you look at traditional games like call of duty zombies left for dead back for blood those games were revered and loved and we're bringing back all of that nostalgia with undead blocks eventually pivoting towards mobile games where there is no barrier to entry just sign up with an email and a password and then do what as a traditional gamer you've always done which is collect skins make microtransaction purchases and just have the revenue train chewing along where we're different is we're going to be rewarding our players for the the sweat equity and the resources they put in the game by using that that revenue to pay our players out randomly we're not guaranteeing payouts to people and that that's such a unique concept for a lot of game developers to understand we've spoken to individuals at activision treyarch epic and they're just baffled by the fact that yeah we're going to be putting revenue injecting it back into our game and, and that's really going to give us a unique first market mover advantage i believe yeah man I, I i love the approach and i've heard you talk about your approach when it comes to tournaments and how you're getting it, everyone access to having fun first but also there's this earning potential that you're doing in a unique way you mentioned sponsors and i got a shout out i know you have a tournament going i think starting on the 26th coming up this weekend Mm -hmm. So break down how you guys are, you know, kind of mixing the fun with earning potential in your unique way, and then maybe shout out any well, key dates or details. Well, I'll, I'll start with the tournament first. So this tournament on the 28th will be sponsored by Immutable X. We just announced this week that we are going to be using Immutable X as our layer two scaling solution. We need their help. We need them because we want to mint millions, if not billions of these skins over the next decade. What better way to do it in free and gasless uh, through Immutable X? And uh, yeah, they're all on board. They're giving us uh, $10,000. We're going to be giving that to our player community. That is the theme with Undead Blocks is generate revenue, use it to pay our players. And and uh, expect more of those tournaments from Immutable X. But we also have eight, like seven or eight uh, more sponsors lined up in beta before we go fully live uh, with our full game. For just people that are looking at this and saying, okay, if you have a unique, like a portfolio of people that are into crypto and NFTs, it's a very unique group of people to market your product to. Who is this going to be very beneficial for? NFT groups, guilds, potential L2 scaling solutions like Ethereum, any coin that's trading and they want to put buy pressure on their stuff, obviously not financial advice, do your own research, but uh, that is the model here. And so this has been working. We did a $10,000 tournament polka starter. We did 20,000 with Double Peak. We did 10,000 with GenBlock and now 10,000 with IMX. 
just in the last month and a half, that's $60,000 that other Web3 companies have come in and say, you know what, I value this model. We want to get eyeballs in this group. And what we're able to do is create weapon skins for them. So in your playing in this tournament this weekend, the only weapon you can use is an Immutable X skin, which will be available for purchase in some of our loot boxes, aka loot coffins later. But that is really the key is how do we forge these relationships with other Web3 Titans and just continue to move ourselves forward and show them the value of our player base. Elaborate a little more on like the vision of a healthy sponsor in the game that adds to the gameplay. How would your sponsors get involved in Undead Blocks when you hit that well, two, 250? I, I think I think the penultimate would be, I'll give you an example with Pepsi. Now we don't have a relation with Pepsi, but what if we did the flaming hot Cheeto flamethrower, nice. right? Or in our maps, we have branding where you can go interact with a mall and you can go look at a reel of advertisements for different NFT projects that are coming and proponing their, win, their mint. Or you could go to the Animoca store and get a mocha cafe at the Animoca cafe. This is where I think the future of advertising is going. You're looking at other games like Axie where their founders come out and specifically say, you know, we're not interested in advertising right now. I vehemently disagree with them. That's what Mark Cuban said is, you know, if you're a play to earn game and you don't have a way to generate revenue, the system will cannibalize itself. So we need to generate that revenue. We don't want to make you watch a 15 second video that you immediately want to click off. Like That's Twitch's biggest pain point right now is people don't even want to watch streams because they can't get through the two minutes of ads. They just say, eh, I'm going to go do something else. So that's their biggest issue. And we never want to get to that point. That's why you saw this week, we have an Undead Blocks Hooli and My Pet Hooligan. You better believe we're going to be putting some My Pet Hooligan branding in our metaverse. This cross collaboration between Web3 companies, it is the most healthiest thing we could do to help promote actual projects with a product. And it just, it, we're really scratching the surface with interoperability. You know, I'm, I'm curious because we always like to hear your perspective and any guests we're chatting with that are in the trenches. Uh, you know, like that crossover from gamers bringing those folks into a Web3 kind of environment. And of course there's friction and there's so many ways to go about it, but how do you, how do you guys see it? It sounds like you guys have like a esports kind of model, or at least you're kind of geared up for that, but you tell us. I mean, it's forking hell is what it is. You know, you post a TikTok and you're just getting absolutely blasted by these kids that are like, nope, NFTs, hell no, I'm out. Okay. And then I'm just left there like. You don't even want to try it. It's free to play. Email password. That this there's a circle here. I'm gonna go in a little depth on on what I consider the the circle of pain within NFT collections and Web3 gaming, where you have these two factions of game studios. You have these decentralized yield farming games where you just go in the web browser. They call it a game, but you're just yield farming. Then you have these AAA studios that raise tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars and they never deliver a product or they create a cinematic trailer and then the actual gameplay is nothing like what the trailer looked like and so you're just stuck in this wheel and right now we're in that middle where uh everything we've done to this point is highlighting our gameplay showing our mechanics showing the engine but people hear the word nft and they still get turned off because of previous failures so my job is to educate and bring awareness to these individuals and the best way to do that is free and earn we're tripling down on free and earn where players can come into our game all they need is a email and a password they can start grinding the z bucks and then they can use those z bucks to acquire a loot box which again we can mint for free that has assets that have tangible value and so from this perspective with no barrier to entry we are providing a unique opportunity for those players to say hmm maybe nft gaming isn't so scary at all but what you're going to see on the full game is players are going to compete against each other and traditional call of duty zombies is just everyone's on the same team it's survival based here you're going to have duos where it's 2v2 most amount of zombies killed in five minutes when or a survival competition where if one person dies, they're out. And then if the duos survive, they win. Free for all, last person standing wins, similar to like a Royale that you're seeing in, you know, Fortnite, etc. So we are going to be pumping in the game modes and we're going to make them fun and fresh, but also having that Mario Kart random-esque point to it where you kill a zombie and then you can power up or power down players. So you can essentially take somebody out of the game if you choose, whether it's uh, get rid of all their ammo or make sure that they're like, a statue and they can't move it's called like slow ride is the perk so uh there's lots of different things that we're going to be able to do to just keep it fun and we have to put in more maps more weapons more of these power-ups but the gameplay loop is tried and true we are going to be the first web3 franchise with not just pc and mac but a mobile offering as well and that's honestly what i'm most excited about is there something that just you think a lot of projects should know maybe from your experience from your background web2 or web3 you know but like 
What would you like to share with some of these projects that, that you've found to just be immensely helpful when it comes to conserving some of those funds to actually develop something amazing? You, you have to conserve the funds and you have to choose your partners very, very, very wisely. Anyone's going to throw you a check. You can go to NFT NYC. When we were there, we literally saw people holding up signs saying, need funding. <laughs> like they want to invest in this. The world wants to invest in this. Web who wants to invest in this? And so you have to be very careful about your partners. One thing I will say is you look at our tokenomics sheet, 4% of our token was sold to VCs. Traditional FPS, 20 to 25%. I believe Shrapnel is 27% sold to VCs, which all unlocks after 12 months, completely unlocks. We sold 4% over a quarterly vesting schedule. It's protecting our, our token holders as well. Obviously not financial advice, but you, know, you got to actually dig into the numbers here. And what you're going to see is our team has been working efficiently, but we, we turned away a lot of checks. We could have raised eight, nine, $10 million like this. We didn't want it. We didn't need it. Now is our time to scale up as we develop under the Wagyu games umbrella. We are looking to build more games, more mobile games, more shooters, a direct sequel to undead blocks. And so with that, we will uh, eventually be going through another round of funding, but what I want to let other projects out there know is it's okay to not look at your floor and your token price. You guys are probably going to think I'm full of shit, but I, I don't check it. I see when there's activity and clutter in our Discord if things are happening, but if you de deliver a tangible product, I can be so open with you guys and tell you guys about the space because we have a game. We have a beautiful game that's going to be out in less than uh, two months or two and a half months, depending on uh, when, how, how our multiplayer does. And I can I can vehemently defend our model because it works. It's a proven model. It's so hard for people to come into this industry and try to reinvent the wheel. What we're doing is we're taking the wheel and adding an extra layer of Web3 onto it where you're able to be able to buy, sell, and trade your assets. That's the biggest thing is not everything needs to be reinvented. The world has been pushing DeFi and decentralized autonomous organizations, but where do projects go or investors go? They go to projects with doxed founders and backed history. So it's just the biggest oxymoron. And so my, my biggest piece of advice is know who you are. Don't set expectations that are so unrealistic that your community can't meet them and find out what you're good at and what you're not. And what you're not good at, find people that are good at it. That's why I implore every single one of your listeners, play our game, let us know what's good, let us know what's eh, okay, we'll fix it, and let us know what you don't like and we will remove it. That is really the key is listen to, listen to your community. Well said, man, that's such a great mindset in this space and, and that is gonna separate us from the traditional gaming in the sense of community and feedback and, and embracing the stages of your roadmap and and that's kind of where we want to head next um but first i would like to talk more about the wag wagyu games uh do you have another game coming up that you want to talk about at all and does wagyu stand for anything it was interesting because when we partnered with immutable x they also partnered with a game studio called Wagme. And so now people get us confused. Is Wagyu Wagme? Is Wagme Wagyu? But no, we, we actually branded Wagyu when we started. Undead Blocks was a proof of concept. We didn't know the route this was going to take. And once we started developing this game, this game mode, we realized we're damn good at this. So we are going to be building more games under the Wagyu games umbrella. I guess you could look at Wagyu as like the premium cut of beef. We want to be the premium FPS gaming studio, not just for PC and Mac, but for mobile as well. Undead Blocks will have a mobile version. Uh, we are not committing to a timeline. Obviously, there are a lot of things in flux in terms of additional funding that we might need to uh, take in. But we want to build Undead Mobile and then have a PvP with that's just basically sunset 10 years into the past before the horde to show you exactly how we got to the situation and then have that game be uh, on mobile as well. I love it, man. And uh, you mentioned the game is going to be coming out in about two, two and a half months. Are you aiming for Halloween launch? There's going to be something big on Halloween. Yeah. I can tell you guys that. Whether that's a full game release or a massive tournament, it's on a Monday. So that weekend before, we'll, we'll probably do something huge. We want to do in-person events as well. We're going to TwitchCon. We're going to be the only blockchain game at TwitchCon. Uh, and we want to do more in-person events, especially as we lean into a more esports centric environment where people can come in and compete. We want to do Land tournaments they're very popular and we want to bring in our top content creators our streamers our ambassadors for the game show them off in person also invite special guests and community members as well so look out for that as well uh as we end 2022 uh whether that's through a special event in-person event but really the key is this multiplayer guys our game is so fun to play and it's only single player 
you forget that. You forget that the beta is only five rounds and we're doing these tournaments where you have to kill as many times as you can in 10 minutes. There are so many different ways we're going to be able to make it fun and fresh. You can hop in multiplayer, hang out on the headsets with your friends. Uh, there are going to be mini alpha groups. We're we're going to get a lot more guild interest once that happens. We're also going to have a referral program where you can invite players and you can get those loot coffins, which can unlock different skins, different collectibles. And by the way, you'll be able to earn in limited quantities as well. As we generate revenue, we are going to start paying players out randomly. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a crypto casino, but everybody wins. It's impossible to lose uh, when you're playing undead blocks. And I think people are, everyone loves a free roll. I think everyone's going to uh, really, really grasp that model. And I believe that this will be the approach for future web3 games that are not related to us is have the ability to earn but don't guarantee it make it random and have it fluctuate with the revenue you're generating but also provide a zero to zero barrier to entry ecosystem email and password where players can come in try your game let us let let you know if it's good or not Bro, and, and it's so much onboarding. You guys have this clear onboarding ramp that you're offering so many people around the world for so many reasons. It could be the fun factor. It could be the earning factor or, or whatever. Just just getting involved in something early. So appreciate you doing all that and bringing the, bringing the heat here, man. I want to get you to shout out a couple of dates. I know you have that tournament coming up here. Undead Blocks will be hosting a $10,000 tournament sponsored by Immutable X. It goes live August 26th at 10 a.m. It ends August 28th at 10 p.m. And this is not going to be the only tournament we're running this summer. Like I said, expect a lot more as we march our way towards the full game release. So definitely want you guys to play this weekend. All you need is an email and a password. You will be able to play our game, earn Z-Bucks, then you can use those Z-Bucks to swap for any crypto of your choice from our options that we have on our website. If you guys do want to learn more, check Check us out on Twitter, Undead Blocks, obviously, just one word. There, We'll have Discord, Telegram links as well to circulate. But really, most of our information is circulating through Twitter and our website, UndeadBlocks.com. We just released an awesome Medium article this week highlighting our relation with IMX. And there will be a Coin Telegraph article as well dropping on the 23rd. So do check that out. Uh, really excited about our future. We want gamers to come into this game. Try us out. Let us know what's good. Let us know what's not. We'll fix the stuff that's not. And we'll keep delivering you guys a fun product that you guys can engage in and earn.